And we tell them, I being the secretary of that organization, and the beginner of that organization, I tell them, we cannot violate the US government laws by investing this money for profit because we are registered as non-profit. And when we were registering as non-profit, I put my signature there that we are not going to engage in any profit-making venture. For that reason, that million stays there and we cannot use it in any other way. It's going to increase to 2 million because we have 900 members. And those 900 members now, the idea came that we should start something that can accumulate the same amount of money and then invest, invest in a way that 1 million or 2 million that we are going to raise can give us some returns on our investment. So we started Jamhuri Diaspora Circle, which will be dealing with uh, investment. We also started uh, Jamhuri Diaspora Credit Union, which will be giving us loans. These things are working. And when I look at what is happening around us, I tell people it's not me or it's not us. God is doing it. Because without him, we would fail. Just like those people who came before us tried to do something meaningful and they failed. You know, some came with the intention to eat other people's money and they failed. But for us, we put God first and we have very pure and that's why we say we're going to register the Muhuri Diaspora Circle right here in the U.S. so that we won't have issues of where people can say well, we, they are taking our money, they are consuming our money, they are using their, our money for their own good. We won't have that issue because U.S. is full of systems and we have rules and we have court of law where nobody can evade whether you're the president or not. Nobody's above the law. But in Kenya, things do go haywire. You are known. We have Nigerians there, so we know in Africa what happened. Now, I said I don't talk too much, but I seem to be talking too much than I intended. I am a doer more than a talker. For that reason, we decided, why can't we just write our speech, and then we come and read the speech from our heart to our partners, because we are all partners in this. And then we go on to our project. Our project today is very engaging. You're going to need your computer. You're going to need your cell phone if you don't have a computer, because you're going to be voting. You're going to be playing raffles. As you can see, we have a whole evening of activities. So let me respect time and just read what I wrote from my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and fellow visionaries, today we stand at the threshold of a new era for our immigrant and uh, for our immigrant community, an era that calls for a collective action empowerment, and change. I stand before you to introduce the idea that has the power to transform lives, uplift communities, and forge a brighter future for all. Welcome to the launch of our startup saving society known as Jamuhuri Diaspora Circle. In a world filled with challenges and uncertainties, one thing has remained certain, the strength of unity. Our society is built upon the fundamental principle of together we rise. It is an embodiment of the belief that by pulling our resources together, knowledge and dreams, we can create an unbreakable foundation for prosperity. At the core of our saving circle lies the power of collaboration. We bring individual form from diverse backgrounds together, bridging the gap between the rich or the financially privileged and the underserved, we firmly believe that financial security is not a privilege, but a right that should be accessible to everyone. We are claiming that right here in the United States. We have the right to be financially successful. But why do we decide to have a circle or a saving society, you may ask? Allow me to share our empowerment. We aim to empower individuals to take control of their financial destinies by fostering a culture of savings and investment. We want to equip our members 
with the tools that build brighter future together. Number two. Number two, inclusivity. Our society celebrates diversity and inclusion. We actually seek to provide equal opportunities for people from all walks of life irrespective of their age, gender, race, socioeconomic backgrounds, or even religion. Number three, education. Financial literacy is the backbone of our prosperous society. We are committed to provide comprehensive financial education programs to our members, ensuring that they make informed decisions that align with their goals. Number four, stability. In an ever-changing economic landscape, financial stability is paramount. Together, we create a safety net that shields us from unforeseen circumstances, ensuring that we thrive even in the turbulent economic times. And number five, we envision to have, we envision to have an impact on what we do. Our Jamuhuri diaspora circle will go beyond individual growth. We are going to pull all our resources together to create a force for positive change in our immigrant communities. We want to invest in initiatives that address pressing social and environmental issues, leaving a lasting impact for generations and generations to come. Therefore, as we embark on this journey together, let us remember the power of a dream, the strength of unity and a promise of a better tomorrow. Our Jamuhuri Diaspora Circle will not only serve as a platform for financial growth, but also as a beacon of hope for the world we envision. In conclusion, I invite you all to join our Startup Saving Society. Together, we will define what is possible. We are going to inspire others to dream big and we are going to pave way for a world where prosperity knows no boundaries. Let us rise together and build a legacy that will stand the test of time. Thank you very much. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Willie, our CEO. Thank you so much, Dr. Ari. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also a man of few words. Uh, I just wanted to, as we invite the time in a few minutes, I just want to say something as well. As you have heard, my, name's, my name is Danson Mukile. I'm one of the directors. It's a very great pleasure to be here. I want to thank you all for gathering here today to embark on an exciting journey that has the potential to reshape the financial, of our, of our financial future. Today, we are not just launching a startup, we are igniting a revolution of savings, community, and empowerment. Welcome to the inception of Savings Society, Jamhuri Diaspora Circle. As we stand at the threshold of this new era, it is crucial to acknowledge the significance of our mission. Our world is constantly changing, and so are our financial needs. The traditional ways of saving have become increasingly, increasingly challenging, leaving many individuals and families struggling to secure their dreams. But as an innovator and a dreamer, we have come here to, to face the challenges and make them opportunities. The Saving Society, the Amuri Diaspora Circle, was born from a vision a vision to empower each and every member of our community to build a bright future. We understand the power of unity. That is precisely, that is why precisely we seek to harness. Imagine a world where people come together to support one another's dreams, where we celebrate each other's milestones, and where we rise together above financial hurdles. Our platform will be more than just an app or a website. It will be a catalyst for positive change. Through it, we will create a thriving eco ecosystem where individuals pull their resources, inspire one another, and embark on a collective journey towards prosperity. Today, ladies and gentlemen, 
We are not asking you to invest in a startup. We are inviting you to join a movement. A movement that places people at the center of everything we do. We will prioritize financial education, equipping you, our members, with the knowledge and tools to make informed decisions about your finances. We will ensure transparency, integrity, and every member will have a voice in shaping the future of Jamori Diaspora Circle. But this journey is not just about financial gains, ladies and gentlemen. It's also about transforming our lives. It is that the young entrepreneur who, with the support of the community, will turn their passion into thriving business. It's about the family as well. It is the collective saving that will finally afford the uh, members a dream home. It's about making a lasting impact on the generation to come. In the face of uncertainty, Jamuri Diaspora Circle will stand as a beacon for hope. Together we will weather the storms, celebrate the success, and grow stronger as a community. I ask each one of you, in conclusion, to take a leap of faith in us. Embrace, become part of our Jamuri Diaspora Circle. Together, let us write a new chapter in the history of savings. The time for, for change is now, and we are the change makers. Thank you for your unwavering support and self-belief in our mission. Let us embark on this extraordinary journey together. You believe in us while we could not meet in person. You gave us your trust with your finances. We are here in person to tell you that, ladies and gentlemen, let us make Jamuhuri diaspora great. Thank you. Thank you, Danson. Uh, I know some of you might know Danson from his uh, yellow UDA thing, but Jamburi uh, Diaspora Sako is non-political. We are not affiliated with the religion. We are not tribal. We are not uh, just East African. We are Jamburi Diaspora Sako. It's not a Kikuyu thing. It's not a lawyer thing, it's not a Kalijin thing, it's not an Igbo thing, but actually it is just what? Jamuhuri diaspora what? Sako. That's all we are. So nobody will point fingers and say, ah, that's the Hilaya Wakikuyu, Hilaya Jalu. No. Thank you very much for trusting on us. We're going to now embark on the journey of what brought us here tonight. You brought us here to shape the future of our. Uh, Sako, please go ahead and get your phone out, get your computer out. On the on the uh, WhatsApp group, we have shared a link, a link that say Neapod. For those who are on Zoom and they are watching us on Zoom, we have shared on the communication uh, a link that say Neapod. Please link, click on that link. We're going to give you a code. If it does not ask for a code, then you are one step ahead. Accept and log in with uh, your Gmail, Google. Go ahead and do that. For those who are online, please make sure you are doing that. If there are any challenges, you put your hand up, then we will be able to help you. This is going to run like a classroom, I'm sorry. And I'm a teacher. Uh, my weakness is just to do things like a teacher way. But I think that's the most efficient way to get your opinions. If you do not have the link, just go to nearpod.com. N-E-A-R-P-O-D. N-E-A-R-P-O-D. Dot com. Everybody. My name is Rachel Liai. I'm sure most of you know me, and I know most of you, and thank you for coming tonight for this worthy cause. 
So uh, financial status right now, this is the financial statement. Uh, I'll first talk about uh, the share value right now. Registration is $200. And uh, each share is $200, minimum of five shares. So we'll talk about that later because there are decisions, ha uh, some decisions that have to be made about the share value. So right now we have raised two, 20,000 for registration and 90,000 and more is coming. I see, uh, I can see online most people are registering today. So uh, we are getting somewhere and I'm sure probably by the end of this year we will be so much ahead. So uh, currently some of the uh, registration is what we are spending on the meetings and all that. So people, if you have questions about where is the 200 going, it's for the operations because we have to have meetings, we have to have all that stuff that go along with having an organization. So we appreciate you all. So I also have a speech. Uh, in regard to our organization, and I'm going to read. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for gathering here today. As we, sorry, I forgot my glasses. I have to see if the light is not too bright. Thank you all for gathering here today as we embark on an incredible journey together the creation of the Startup Savings Society. Today, I want to share with you, not just the business idea, but a vision that has been potential to change lives, empower communities, and build a brighter future for all. Picture a world where everyone has the opportunity to save and build a secure financial foundation regardless of their background or economic status, meaning that you don't care whether you have those things we call papers here in the U.S., you still have an opportunity to build yourself in a JT circle. A world where dreams aren't shattered by unexpected financial crisis and where communities are bound together through a shared commitment to financial well-being. This is the world that saving society aims to create. We are, not, we are more than just a company. We are movement with a purpose. Our mission is to revolutionize the way people save and invest making it accessible, inclusive, and sustainable for all. We believe that small contributions can lead to significant outcome, and we are here to facilitate that. Saving Society will be a platform that encourages individuals to save regularly, even if it's just a small amount we will leverage the power of technology to create a user-friendly, seamless experience that, that fits into people's busy lives. Through automation and smart algorithms, we will make savings effortlessly, ensuring that people money works hard for them. Sorry about the PA system. But our but our vision goes beyond just individual savings. We envision communities coming together to achieve collective financial goals. Saving society will foster a point of comradeship where members can support and motivate each other on, the, uh, on their savings journeys. Whether it's savings for education, buying a home, 
starting a business or preparing for emergencies. We will be the platform that unites people in pursuit for their dreams. Our commitment is sustainability, is uh, um, unwavering. As a society, I am tongue tied. As a society, we will prioritize investment that have a positive impact. We shall offer financial literacy programs to empower our members to make informed decisions and take control of their financial future. However, we can't do this alone. The success of the saving society levies on the collective efforts of everyone here today and the support of the broader community. Together, we will challenge the status quo, disrupt the traditional financial models, and build a legacy of empowerment and resilience. I invite each one of you to join us on the incredible journey as partners, as customers, as advocates and as believers in the power of savings. Together, let's sow the seed of financial security and watch them grow into a forest of opportunity. As we take our first step today, remember that every great movement, every great movement started with the idea and every journey began with a single step. Let saving society be the catalyst for change we visit to see in the world. Together, let's create a future where financial freedom is not a privilege, but a reality to all. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, Rachel is a CFO. She's trusted with a lot of money. The other billion is also with her. And you cannot mess with her. <laughs> nobody will ever, not me, not nobody, voting, but our chief marketing officer, she's also our human resource, the young and energetic Vicky Batikuli. Vicky Batikuli, don't ask me what a, an expensive name that she got. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. My name is Vicky Batikuli. Chekori, I'm from Felicia County, aka Congresswoman. So, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and fellow visionaries, today I stand before you with a purpose that ignites a spark of hope within my heart the creation of a startup that will redefine the meaning of financial prosperity and community empowerment. Welcome to the Saving Society, where we embark on a journey to revolutionize the way we save, invest, and build a brighter tomorrow together. In a world where economic uncertainty is loom large and financial stability is distant for many, our society is designed to be a beacon of hope, a shelter from the storm of financial insecurity. We believe that every individual deserves the opportunity to secure their dreams, no matter their background or income level. With our collect collective spirit, we will create a new era of empowerment and resilience. The Saving Society is not just another institution. 
it is a movement driven by the strength of unity. Together, we will rewrite the rules of the game. Okay? Turning the odds in favor of the many, not just the few. We will disrupt the status quo that divides us and replace it with a culture of inclusivity where everyone's voice is heard and every idea is valued. Imagine a world where saving is not a burden, but an act of liberation, where financial education is not a luxury, but a fundamental right. The saving society will stand tall as an educator, providing knowledge and guidance on smart money management. We will empower our members to make informed decisions, guiding them on their journey to prosperity. In this digital age, our platform will leverage cutting edge technology to ensure seamless access to financial tools and services. We will create an, a user-friendly ecosystem that simplifies saving, investing, and tracking financial goals. Moreover, we pledge to keep security and privacy at the forefront, protecting our members from the vulnerabilities of the digital landscape. But the saving society is not solely about financial aid. It is also about making a positive impact in our communities. We believe that prosperity should be shared. And as we grow, we will allocate a portion of our profits to support social initiatives, education and environmental causes. Together, we will create a ripple effect of positive change, leaving a lasting legacy for generations to come. So, I urge you, each one of you, to join hands with us to be a part of this remarkable movement that transcends borders and break barriers. Together we will forge a future where dreams are not deferred, but brought to fruition. Together we will build a society that stands as testament to human potential, unity, and progress. Let us embark on this extraordinary journey, hand in hand, leaving no one behind as we take our first steps towards a better future. Let us remember the words of Helen Kiel. Alone we can do so little. Together we can do so much. Thank you and let the saving society begin. God bless. Thank you, thank you so very much, uh, Vicky. Vicky is a young star, and uh, she's also energetic. From she's all the way from uh, in, in, uh, Oregon, Wisconsin. Yes, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Yes, Danson is uh, in, from Dallas. He used to live in uh, Delaware. So if you see Vicky also somewhere in the political forum. Again, we say we are not political, we are not, although we are people of faith, we are not affiliated to any religion, we are not affiliated to any tribe. We are what? Jamuhuri. Jamuhuri diaspora what?
to have uh, Rachel Liai with us. Uh, she's the C CFO, is that right? And uh, you're doing an amazing job. We have seen the presentation. We have seen what uh, the organization is doing so far and the membership. Uh, just tell us a little bit more. What did you want to accomplish today? And how, so far, how many members have you been able to register? So far, we are about 131 members as at now when I checked my uh, database. And it's amazing how people are getting pressed by the JD Circle. And by doing so, we are planning, uh, we, we are sure that we're going to get more people. And uh, more people is what we want right now. What is the vision of uh, the organization? The vision of the organization is to invest here in America. Because we usually invest in Kenya, but literally we want to invest here in America because most of our children are here. And may, they may not be able to go back to Kenya and uh, acquire what we have invested in, uh, uh, in Kenya. That's why we saw that, that that vision is going to benefit our future generation. Wonderful. Um, I was listening to the presentation and I heard some of the, some of the things that you want to invest in. Uh, in this coming, some of the suggestion or proposal. Yes. And uh, in my mind, I was thinking, if someone's, and then you have long-term plans. And uh, just discussing like the table where we were, I was thinking to myself, if someone can by themselves maybe be able to invest in the short-term plan, yes. why not then as an organization dwell on longer plans, which has more dividends uh, than dwelling on a short plan? Uh, though the list, uh, that list was just a suggestion. Okay. This organization is for members. If members feel that those suggestions are not what they want, we, they can always come with as a suggestion and we can always vote to see if whatever is appropriate for everybody. It's not like we have said that this is what we are going to do. No, we have not said that. We are just proposing. As you saw, the slide was reading proposals. That was the uh, proposals. Okay. Um, when did the organization start? Because there are some of us who just came today, and they love the... Uh, uh, some came, some actually registered today, and they love what is going on, but they have no idea when it started, where are we going with all this and all that. Can you just tell us a little bit more what was on your heart as an organization to start this? Yes, so it was about last year when we were just somewhere, uh, the four of us, and we just sat and... Who, who are the four of you? The four <laughs> of us are the directors, the four okay. of us. So, yeah, we have Dr. Rohevi as the, uh, the um, what do you call it, the uh, CEO, and then we have myself as the chief finance officer. We have uh, Vicky Batikuli, as the uh, HR, and then we have uh, Mukile, Danson Mukile, as the uh, IT. So all of us who are just somewhere, we were not even uh, talking about anything, but we just sat down and said, what can we do for our diaspora people? Because there are so many things that uh, our diaspora people are lacking. We saw there's a gap there, right. the gap of investing here in America. We know it's a foreign country, but right. we still can, we come here, find opportunities, we excel. So we can also do more. There's that gap that was lacking, and we decided, let's go for it. So from there, we, we just decided to, uh, we sat down. We created the bylaws. We say this thing can, if we want to run this thing well, we have to have bylaws and rules. You know, nothing can run without rules and bylaws. So we sat down, we created them. We were spending sleepless nights trying to create the this plan for this. Year. That was last year. 
And, and then, within last year, you have over 90 members, over 100 members. I mean, no. They, we start, that was when the idea came to us. Okay. So we had to form something so that when people right. come to it, they know what they are finding. Right. It was just a shell that we created. And then the shell, we just started doing the bylaws. We started doing all those things that when people come in, that will guide us. And from the beginning of this year, at around January, February, that's when we started to register members. That's when we introduced the members to this thing. Uh, February, now, that's less than... Wow. That is less that's, that's than... Impressive. Yes. Very so, impressive. We believe that we are going somewhere because the year is not even over and we have over 130 people coming in. 130 and yes. how many, how much in terms of registration and, uh, and shares bought? So, so far, what is the we, equity have, so far? we have like 90,000 hmm. as was my last uh, uh, statement when I looked, it was about three days ago. So, so many people have registered, like as of yesterday, about 15 people registered. They just came wow. and registered, so I'm sure we have more than that. So people are, are registering, people are buying shares, and we are so much impressed by this. Wonderful. I think this organization is going far. There are big things that are, I, I see you guys doing. And uh, what, what are some of the things you'd want to you know, let the people know? And as we close Five more minutes, uh, this we discussion, I would let the people know that uh, their we investment, their money is safe. I would assure them that uh, myself, as the chief finance officer, I'll make sure that their investment is safe. We are, we are playing that God will guide us. God is first. We are putting God in this. And we really believe that he'll guide us. He'll keep us safe. He'll... Uh, help us to expand and uh, we are sure that we are going to exploit this land. You know, lastly as I let you go, because I know the program is still running the organization in terms of uh, in terms of qualification of people who are serving mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. what would you say uh, about them, what are some of the qualifications what makes you qualified? I'm not questioning your credibility or your credentials, but I'm just asking for the sake of someone who's out there who might want to find out, okay, the CEO, the CFO, whoever, the HR, what are some of the things that would give someone confidence that uh, this is what makes me good at what I'm doing, besides just having the dream and the vision? Yes. So here in Maryland, we have an organization, a huge organization. It's not connected to JD Sacco, right. but um, we are, most of our members are part of it. It's called MDKO, Maryland Kenyans Organization. It's a bereavement uh, organization that has over 800 members. I've been the um, financial, the, the, the treasurer of the organization. It has been there for now like five years, and uh, so far, Nothing has uh, been uh, mismanaged, finances have been stable, and so far we are, are like the strongest uh, believement. It's true. Yes. I have to attest that uh, she has been doing a fantastic job. I appreciate what you're doing. I have no doubt that uh, the organization is in good hands, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. And yeah. Thank you for agreeing to join the organization. Oh, I'm excited. I'm among the 15 people who joined last night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you all. Yeah, yes. uh, so we'll see you around. I'll be just talking to one or two people as, uh, as uh, we all still do this. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. you have a good night. Yeah. Wonderful ladies here who are part of this great organization. And I'm just eager to know why did you join this organization. Uh, you just tell us your name, where you're from. Okay. And uh, I understand you convinced her to join. Yes. Why are you passionate about it? Um, okay, my name is Beatrice Tangwa, and I live in Ellicott City, Maryland. My and, neighbor. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> we are many. <laughs> And um, honestly, I thought this is one of the best things that has ha ever happened to the Kenyan community. Awesome. Because um, especially the idea of borrowing from ourselves right. and to grow. Right. We want to get off the mainstream banks 
and be our own financiers. So we are sucking our banks? Yes. So I would like, and the fact that this is something that can be passed on to our children, right. you know, we as members can pass it on to our next generation. I, I think this is the best move we've ever made. And I'd like as many Kenyans to come and participate wow. as wow. much as possible. What are some of the incentives? Because you, you seem like convinced this is the best way to go. Yeah, um, we all know how banks, or at least some of us know how banks make money. Banks make money by lending out to people to buy cars, to buy homes, to buy properties. Right. Why can't we do it ourselves? Right. Let's loan ourselves. Let's grow as a community. Let's leave a legacy to our children. And they'll start off way much better than we did. When we came to this country, we didn't have anything. We, we didn't have any foundation. We came and started growing ourselves. And I think this is a very, it's one of the biggest leaps ever that wow. we can do for ourselves wow. and for our children. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. What made you join the organization? So, uh, like I mentioned, Beatrice is my very good friend. Yeah. She never leaves me behind when there's something good happening. That's a good so friend indeed. She is. She yeah. is. I'm so blessed to have her in my life. So when Thank she you, told Christy. me about it, when she told me about it, at first, of course, I was skeptical because she told right. me about it a you know, couple months ago. And I looked and I was like, okay, no, I wasn't very sure. I didn't do my you know, good homework. And I was like, okay, let me sleep over it. And at the same time, I was thinking this could be a really good thing because we don't have something of this nature right. in where we, which caters for the immigrants. Whether it's um, probably in America, I don't know about other countries, but I think it's really like a great startup. I'm not even looking at it as a startup, because looking around, it looks like a lot of people have already bought into the idea. Right. Right. And it's because it's very promising. When you are listening at you know what they have in store for everybody, I think if you haven't joined, you should already do so. Awesome. They are talking about like one of the biggest things that they will do is to educate the community. Sometimes we are, we don't even know anything. We just right. come here, we don't understand right. mm -hmm. the whole thing with um, you know borrowing. Where you're gonna borrow? You want to buy a house? Or whatever it is you need in this country, you have to like. It's almost like you don't own anything. Right. So having those uh, educational forums that they have talked about will be very helpful to anyone who's coming and even for us. And at the same time, like like Beatrice mentioned, it's not really for us. It's for our children. You want to leave something for your child. By the time you build something. You know, uh, it takes forever, but then it, as a community, this is something that we could build in a very short time. Not really that short, but like at least you can see there's, there's, there's hope and you can see that it's something that's gonna, you know, be good and great. So, yeah. Wow, I think you're, you've done a good sales speech for them. <laughs> and the fact that we have a say. Even, yeah. And you have we a say. Have a say, say yeah, into you, so your the shareholders direction. who. Yeah also contributing not just in terms of your deposits but also, also in, in ideas. ideas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ideas. And I think that's very important because banks will not let you do that. Mm -hmm. No, they won't. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. So nice talking to you. Thank you. I know they are still running the chill show. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Yeah. Beatrice here. Yeah? Yes, Beatrice. Well, I'm, I'm honored to uh, be with the C CEO of uh, this great organization, and uh, I believe that he'll be giving us more information on what today we've been able to accomplish. Uh, please, sir, I want you to first introduce yourself uh, to the people, and then please tell us the vision of what this organization is all about, and also mention to us about what we've been, been able to discuss and accomplish today. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Dr. Peter Ruhiri, and I am the CEO of Jamhuri Diaspora Circle. We are a community that decided to come together as immigrants from all over the world and start a circle that is based right here in the United States. The circle that is registered right here so that all our activities are modulated and operated from here. We decided to launch this organization today, but it's after a whole year of buying shares and uh, registering members who we have come up to a number of 150 today. And this is since 
I understand since February. Since February of last year, of, of last year, this year, last this year. year. Yeah, this year, yes. Wow. So we have. That's very impressive. Yes, we have very, managed very to. Yeah. Thank you. We have managed to bring 150 members, and there are more who are ready and willing to join. Some had hindrances here and there because of accessing the portal. Other they did not have the money to register. I saw so many online because uh, we have some on the Zoom. We have some here too. Yes, about 10 people who joined today. Wow! And as we talk, wow. there are still people joining. Right, because they are yes. getting to know about. This. They are getting to know about it. Yeah. We had not done any aggressive marketing because we wanted to first of all form our brand right. by 100 members. Right. And once we got there. We now decided it's time now to spread our wings right. because we are covered all over the United States. We are in the 50th state of the United States. We have people from Minnesota, Minneapolis, Seattle, Dallas, wow. Delaware, Maryland, Massachusetts, everywhere. We have people and these from are people from Kenya, from different counties or from one county? <laughs> from the all 47 Seven, counties, yes. Yes. So. We have people from all regions in our management. Right. One of our CTO is from Bugoma. Our human resource manager is from Kericho. Uh, our CFO is from Nakuru. And myself, I'm from Nyeri. Wow. We have members here who are from all well over, from Mombasa. Right. Yes. We actually do not only represent Kenya. We have immigrants who are from Nigeria, some of them sitting back there. Right. We have uh, people who are from Ethiopia and Tanzania who are with us. So it's actually for all immigrants. Immigrants. Yes. Whether Africa. Whether African, South, Af South America, wherever they come from. So they want to join. In your words, what's the vision of J Jamuri Sako? Uh, Jamuri Diaspora Sako is looking to invest, accumulate capital, invest in real estate and also invest in giving people credit through chartering a credit union. As we speak, we have been allocated a federal representative who is working with us and says that the idea is so good that we should continue and register our credit union. The credit union will be giving people loans right. while the SACO will be responsible for uh, building investment. Our investment, as we have discussed today with our members, is to build homes for our members. Yeah. We buy a piece of land, build homes, franchise some of the uh, convenience stores, right. and we are also planning to build single family homes in Florida, either build for resale or build for our members to live in. We have short term and long term goals. Those who are interested, when they join us, they will be able to see what we are doing. You know, you just mentioned that there are two sides right. of uh, the just diaspora, the Jamuri diaspora circle. Yes. There is a borrowing aspect where you have the credit union, mm -hmm. and then there's investment side of it. Yes. Are both of these organizations, are they already registered or they're in the pipeline to be registered? Both organizations are registered in the state of Delaware yeah. uh, so that we don't have to pay state taxes. Most organizations are registered there. So we are actually, both are registered, but they both belong to the same management. Okay. It's only because SACO in the U.S., like whole, yeah. they cannot just issue loans. Right. Yes. You have to have a federally accredited institution to give loans. For that reason, we decided let's have the credit union handling our loans and SACO handling our investment. And that's the model we are following, which is working very well. We have raised a lot of money so far, and we are targeting to reach $1 million in one and a half years. So far, so good. We want members to join. We are encouraging members to join. And we are actually going to start enjoying our dividend in about two years' time we'll be able to now say we can share the profit or we can go see our homes where we have built them. Wow, that's, that's just awesome and amazing. I'm so excited uh, having had the presentation from different uh, members and from different uh, uh, of you leaders, not members. I think the organization is headed for great things. What are some of the last words that you have for uh, 
for our viewers. Those who are viewing, I will tell you, this train has left the station. The train has not gathered speed. It's, it's full steam. It's full steam. It's leaving slowly. Before it go full steam, board. Get your ticket to the train, $200, register, and then we'll give you time to purchase the number of shares that are required. Five shares, each worth $200, so shares worth $1,000. Then you'll be a full-fledged member in this train that is to help our generation and our children and their children. One day they'll wake up and say, my dad, my mom did a great investment to join Jamhuri Diaspora Circle. Wow. Yes, when we are here and when we are gone. Right. Thank you. So it's a legacy that we are leaving behind. It's a legacy we are leaving right here in the U.S. When we come to the U.S., we say we are coming to pick. We are coming to harvest, like right. the children of Israel yes. that yes. went to a different land to gather what were theirs. Our promise is here because God brought us here. So right now, we are here. We are taking responsibilities. We are taking ground. And we are claiming what is rightfully ours because we have become citizens of this country Amen and our best. children have become citizens <laughs> of this country. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much, Doctor. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. And all you're doing for the community. Thank you. And uh, those of us that are immigrants here. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I know your, your time is needed somewhere else. We'll be talking more. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a member. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, those are the teachers that are brought from Kenya, FYI, be gracious to them, they are new, all of them, they are new, they are like two weeks old, they are teaching in Baltimore City, all right? So, I'm a jack of all trades and uh, I'm very happy about them. I have to acknowledge that when you meet them, tell them welcome to the USA, all of them, when they get their first pay, next week on 20th, they will join. <laughs> That's why I brought them here. All right, Rachel, welcome. Thank you very much, Dr. Rahiri. Good evening, everybody. Good evening again. I can see you're all tired, but we've been doing such a good job. This is important work, right? Yes. Yeah. Amen to that. So actually, I'm not very sad that the cake didn't come because as a cake matron, you used to cutting cake in a wedding, in something, right? And you can give all the jokes about Sanyenges, Nimombe, and whatever else. So I wasn't quite sure what I was going to say in this particular occasion. But I just want to give a really short story. So I recently applied for a mortgage to buy a property. So when I applied for the mortgage in MICU, the loan officer called me and said, I'm sorry, you're denied. So I asked him, why? And he said, well, we decided that you possibly couldn't be leaving your old house, which is newer, to move to an old house that's older. And I said, well, but my daughter is moving to middle school. I want to go closer to the school. And they said, well, the committee met, they talked about it, and they decided you're trying to acquire an investment property with a smaller down payment and claiming it to be your principal residence. Now, that is where J.D. Sacco comes in, amen? amen? Because supposing I had come to these amazing ladies here and gentlemen, I think they would understand me, right? My daughter moved to a new school. I want to move closer to the school, so why should I be denied a mortgage? Nevertheless, I still got a mortgage elsewhere, but these are the challenges that we're trying to address access to credit. Credit matters. Credit is how you build wealth, right? People with lower access to credit tend to have fewer choices in housing. They tend to have lower, lower employment rates. So the government has attempted to address this by coming up with all of these laws, right? Somebody who works in the banking industry like I do, we all know about fair lending laws. And in those lending laws, there's three different types of laws. There's the Fair Housing Act, there's the Equal Opportunity, um, Act, Opportunity Act, and then there's the Community Reinvestment Act. But even with all these acts, 
if we remember the 2008 debacle, a lot of the people who were impacted were people of color. They were women. They pushed those predatory loans to us. And actually, a lot of people in our community ended up their homes, right? Yes, this is why we are meeting tonight. We're meeting tonight to ensure that members of our community have access to credit, but also that they don't get treated by being pushed those terrible loans that are out there. I work at Fannie Mae, and as part of what we do, we try to look for servicers who are actually either minority owned, whether it's black, women, Asian, whatever it is, and try to really support them to actually extend loans. But then when you look at it and you're like, I don't know anybody who has that type of an organization that could partner with an organization like that and really extend the loans to our community. One day, this circle will be that organization that will be helping support, you know. So these matters, and I know today, well, as we're looking at it, we're thinking it's, it's kind of there, it's kind of like pie in the sky, it's kind of like this or that. But this is where we start, and this is how we begin to move the needle to make a difference in our communities. And I know sometimes we really get stuck with it, you know, I don't want to be the only millionaire. But, and that's a really good thing to do, to, uh, I mean, try to be a millionaire. But also we need to solve the problems in our community. Even if we don't become millionaires, I just hope it will be just a little bit easier for my son, for my daughter, for my granddaughter to really be able to access credit in this country. We are very blessed. God brought us here for a reason, for a purpose, and this is our country. Again, this is our country, right? Sometimes we feel like we are sitting on the margins. No, this is our country. Finally, Proverbs 19, verse 20 to 21. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord that, um, that makes them prevail. So. We commit everything that we are doing into God's hands, and by God's grace, it will be well. I want to thank our officials very, very much, Dr. Ruhiri, and all of these amazing ladies in dance, and Rachel, uh, Beatrice, right? Beatrice, yes. And all the new committee members who have been um, nominated today, as well as every person here in person, as well as online, Thank you so much, all of those who sent their apologies. Thank you so much. Together, we will prevail, and we will make JD Sacco the future of our, our future and the future of our children. Thank you so much. You all have a great evening, and we really, really enjoyed having you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rachel. Thank you. We, you know we have people like Rachel who are going to connect us to those kind of things. And we have many more sitting right here and online. Now we want to thank Pastor Sandy for graciously accepting to volunteer and do what he's doing. He did this for nothing. You know? So, when, when people understand that we are growing and they start doing things like this, we say that may God bless them richly and uh, we will grow with you. As you grow your industry, we will grow with you. So, so good to see you guys. Uh -huh. Let's move a bit on this side. Okay. So that we all fit in. Now I'm very interested to know why did you decide to join this Jamhuri Diaspora Circle? Couple of things. We've been in other circles back home. Beside or back home. Back home. Yeah. And so this one is the first one we are doing in, in America. Right. And we believe that being pioneers, we have a say. The other ones we joined in Kenya were already started before us. We were born and we found them. Uh, we were born and found. So now we want the one that is starting, we be there, pioneers, making decisions. Wonderful. Yes. What's your motivation of joining? First is because uh, this is the first that we are able to invest in America. A lot of circles that we have there, as Kenyans of people from as immigrants, most of them the investments are focused on uh, back home, wherever you come from, Kenya, Nigeria, whatever. But with this, we have a generation that is behind us. Some of them that are not interested going back home, and their main focus is here. But with uh, Jamuri Circle, that is possible now, and we have very strong governing bylaws. 
that we know no one is gonna wake up and decide to run with our money. Yes. Uh, they call them that, those Republican, banana Republicans. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Awesome, awesome. I know my money is yeah. safe. Your money is safe. Yes. Um, about the, some of the things that they want to invest in, uh-huh. some of the investments that they want to invest in, what is your take on that? Yeah, okay, because of today's proposal, I think there's short term, there's long term. Let me come on this side now. There's short term, there's long term. What are you just feel free to tell me, but what is your take? Yes, uh, I'm Kenyan, and most of my investments are in Kenya. I have kids in here that are not going to Kenya, so this is a good opportunity for me to really start something for them where they can buy in and be a part of in America where they live. Whatever else is out there will be an, an, an advantage. But right now, here is where they, they live, that's where they belong, they want to buy, they need to buy in and be a part of this. So concerning the investment, we uh, appreciated the first one, which is a short term, because what's the point of keeping money in the bank when it could be making us money? So we like the idea of short term and, and also long term, while we are working on the long term, but short term, money as it's sitting there waiting for the long-term plan. Do you think this model of uh, financial planning or financial investment is very different from traditional, especially here in America? Is it much more favorable or it's... What are some of the risks and what are some of the advantages? Well, the first advantage is uh, the fact that as, as members, uh, is not one of the things that is limiting because if you don't have a social security number for example credit you can do credit but if you're a member of JD Circle there's a, a, a way for you to borrow or to use up money in our credit or save and invest without so much paperwork as uh, the system of America demands. So you think the background check would be a disadvantage where else this one check on officials especially but for general for general membership if you want to borrow money especially against your own savings this is a good way without waiting for credit checks yeah and, and again as they said this is investment done by the community they know our needs we are all together we know what we need so they they are coming from a point where they understand what we need right yeah so it's still a made for immigrants mentioned that it's an investment for kids. Yes. How, how, is, how so? Yes, I, uh, when we draw kids in here and at least uh, make the, uh, buy them the first years, then you make them responsible to pay the monthly, you know, to so buy you it. register them and then you encourage them to, to invest. To, uh, and show them the vision. I hope they'll be able to buy in the vision from the way I see it once I introduce them to the whole idea. Also, I think of uh, I will echo the words of one of the speakers. She said this is our nation. So we, as the people, we are now getting an opportunity to be part of this nation fully, not being a shadow somewhere. So the same um, advantages that other Americans have, us being residents of this country, whether Americans or not, we are we in there now. And we have the same opportunities and even bigger. Because if you look at the goals, it's something very visionary and something that has not been done before, especially by immigrants. So sense of ownership. Yes. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Especially to know that my neighbors are now about to be millionaires. That's right, that's right. And, uh, that street will be a good street. You are the top. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So nice talking to you. All right, thank, thank you so much. Yeah, and please subscribe. Uh, we will, we will. Last those who are watching to subscribe. Okay, subscribe to watch out. It's Upwards channel, that means you haven't subscribed yet. Yes. Guys, well. like, share, subscribe, and yes, yeah, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you share so much. And like. Send organizers of today's event, Jamori Diaspora Circle.
uh, Mr. Dunstan. So nice meeting you. You guys are doing an awesome job. Thank you. So tell us the state of uh, where we are today. With the uh, we had a successful meeting today. Yes. I saw a number, a number of uh, shareholders. Is that the right way to yes. use? Yes. And uh, not only in person, but I was amazed to see a good number also online. Yes. And uh, my encouragement, or what encouraged me most, is to see people from all over uh, the US and also all from all over the Republic of Kenya. Not yes. just one. Yes. Can you tell us more? So, um, when you started JD Sako Jamori, it was just like an idea emanating from two people come together, have a cup of tea, and then they start discussing because. It's actually, when I was talking with the CEO, Dr. Rohiri, right. we had read some newspaper right. about those people who go to Kenya. Yeah. They have squandered their money. They got out the fraudsters, losing a lot of property. Right. Then we said, why can't we just come up with an idea that we can now invest where we are? Right. Because we spend much more time here and we can grow because we have our children here, we have our families here. We can give them a living. Right. Then we came up. I can tell you we started making calls. We never even went to a Zoom making calls. Few people joining some as, you know, they refused as, as usual. Right. The, the African spirit, you know. Yeah. But later on, they started now coming on board, step by step, having regular Zoom meetings, telling them that we have this vision. And remember, we're just coming out of the COVID pandemic. Right. You know, so Zoom has right. really, technology has really worked for us. Right. Then we took our voluntary sacrifices, our resources. Nobody, nobody could say that we have used people, our, our members' money right. in any way. That was starting it up. Yes. Yeah. Now it has stepped step by step. Members have joined. You're talking of over 150, close to 150 members. Yeah, actually now we have almost 167. 167. Yes. Wow. And we are clocking to over 107,000. We are going to two hundred thousand dollars. Yes. Yes. Wow. So it's really amazing. That's that why. A huge leap. Yep. Yeah. And yet, you know, I'm hoping members, those who are outside there across the United States, North right. America, right. they can join us. Yeah. Let us come to listen to us. You know, the members if you can witness. Right. We are legitimately here. Yeah. We want to make sure that we also uphold the law. You know, sometimes right. when you're in Kenya and you're here. Things can go a bit, a lot of bribery here and there, but you know, right. here in the US, the laws are very clear Correct. that we must be must be honest in what we are doing. Right. Uh, my integrity on, on check, I am not ready to go to jail for right. just getting people's right. money. I am here to show people that there is a mission for us and a mission that we can invest right. and grow ourselves right here and make money out of it. Right. Yes. Wonderful. Um, how did you? Having 150 or 160 something thousand members yeah. within this short time, that's that's really remarkable. That is, yeah, that's really remarkable. Uh, uh, what was your approach? How were you able to recruit and get so many people in a short time? So, I can say most part of it that people trusted us is because our track record. Okay. I have been involved in the community events, right. community activities, and people have gauged me, they have seen how I do things. Right. Right. I've been involved in so many things, including political things, right. and people have seen how honest we are. Right. They have looked at our CFO, the chief financing person. Right. She's one of the community in the Baltimore. Everyone right. knows her. Right. She has held millions of dollars. Right. She's very stable. Yes. Our CEO has been the same. So people looked at who we are. Right our history, our background, right. and they said we can trust these people with our investment, our money. Right. And today they came here to witness that for sure whatever we started, yes. it is true. Now, in the meeting today, one yes. of the proposals that was put across was for actually I think three of them. Yes. What caught my attention was the short term where we can buy land or the organization can Save the properties 
So now, uh, that's a good question. And the reason why I came up with that approach, you spend time to go to Florida, right. the Sunshine State. Right. We go live in some of the houses of people there. Those people don't live there, they live in different states. Right. After realizing that, you say, why can't you do the same? If those people are successful, they can build apartment homes there for people to just go spend their leisure there. Why can't we do it? Now, when you look at the shareholding, everyone has their own way of how much they can spend. Right. So the shares that you are buying, it's an equivalent of how much you're going to, to make. It's an equivalent. So if you buy more shares, right. it means you'll have a higher benefit of the project. So it's good to have more so that you can have, you know, whoever makes more, you know, is always given. So if you have, uh, today, it's so nice, our CEO announced that they're going to double our shares right. for the midnight. Yeah. yeah, so the shares will be, will be consumerate of, of how much you have spent, how much the how much shares. Yes. Also, you understand there's another product we introduced, the monthly share contribution, right. whereby it's like a seven. Then at the end of it all, you can be like, hey, I need it back. But you have the original capital, where the shares you need to buy and you can only transfer to the children, your children. Right. One thing that we have never seen from other circles yeah. that you are so distinct yeah. is the nominee. Right. Most of them do just join up, but you don't give the powers to your nominee. Right. Today, if you have a child who is not 18 years old, yeah. can qualify to be a nominee. And in case of anything, you can actually share your uh, shares with the, the whole kids. Right, Let's right. say you have five children yeah. and you have 10,000 shares. Yeah. You can say, I want to give Tom three shares, uh, that 20% of your shares, that percent of shares. Right. You know, it's part of telling people that it is true you can build a wheel. Majority of people don't build a wheel. Yeah. So through the JD circle, yeah. many people today, they have a wheel. So it's like building an estate. Not just for you, right. but whoever, your children and children, it's like a continuation. Right. So as you talk about the franchise, franchise, we are also looking at, as members have voted, we can decide to have gas stations. Right. We have power, we have, you know, it's normally a chain of people have come together and yes. invest in it. Yes. We can also do the same. Wonderful. And we don't want just, if we have that franchise, our people are the ones who are going to run it our children, our friends. Yes. So it's really a wonderful product. Amazing. We're encouraging people. You know, Amazing. Join us. Amazing. You know, let's make this Where do you see this uh, in the next five years? I see this, this vision that we bear, everyone being taking advantage of it and benefiting. We are going to build millionaires or billionaires in this country with us the little that we are investing. So I see yourself thriving, I see yourself succeeding, I see yourself doing great projects and multiple products. And by the way, I'm looking forward to have our first Jamhuri Credit Union. That is one that is something in America. In America. All credit my, my immigrants. immigrants. The first one. The first it one. has never happened in this country since it was 200, 250 years ago. Wow. There has been never credit in the right. for immigrants. Right. So I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time, for what you're doing. The event today was amazing. You guys did an awesome job. Just the way you are running things, I think it was it's quite commendable. So we say, we say one, two, three, you shout what? Empesa. no, no, no. Want, want something, something universal.
Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Enjoy God bless. JB.